So, I see you received the free ticket I sent you. I'm glad. I did so want you to be here. You see, it doesn't matter if you catch me and send me back to the asylum. Gordon's been driven mad. I've proved my point. I've demonstrated that there's no difference between me and everyone else. All it takes is one bad day to reduce the sanest man to lunacy. That's how far the world is from where I am. Just one bad day. You had a bad day once, am I right? I know I am. I can tell. You had a bad day, and everything changed. Why else would you dress up like a flying rat? You had a bad day, and it drove you crazy as everybody else. Only you won't admit. You have to keep pretending that life makes sense, and that there's a pro some point to prove to all this struggling. God, you want to make me want to puke. I mean... What is it with you? What made you what you are? Girlfriend killed by the mob? Maybe. Brother carved up by some mugger? Something like that, I bet. Something like that. Something like that happened to me, you know. I'm... I'm not exactly sure what it was. Sometimes I remember it one way. Sometimes I remember it another. If I'm going to have a past, I prefer it to be multiple choice. <laughs> but my point is, my point is, I went crazy. See, when I saw what a black, awful joke the world was, I went crazy as a coot. I admit it. Why can't you? I mean, you're not unintelligent. You must see the reality of your situation. Do you know how many times we've come close to World War Three over a flock of geese and a computer screen? Did you know the la what triggered the last World War? An argument over how many telegraph poles Germany owed its war debt creditors. Telegraph poles! <laughs> it's all a joke! Everything everybody ever valued or struggled for, it's all one monstrous demented gag. So why can't you see the funny side? Why aren't you laughing? So, in case you didn't notice, Universe, I'm really excited for this Joker movie. This trailer, like, even before this trailer, uh, my hype for this movie was, like, building and building and building and building. Because, like, I at first was like, I don't know if I'm gonna like a Joker movie, I don't know if it's gonna, like, work, because they're gonna do an origin film, and the one thing the Joker shouldn't have is, like, an origin film. But the more you hear about it, it's more like what they what they want to do with it. It's like a Elseworld story. And I was like, oh, okay, that's really cool. If making it like an Elseworld story is a neat idea. Um, I really dig that. I dig how that's going to play out. Um, and it looks like this is, might be the only Joker movie, because Jared Leto's Joker movie is no longer going to be a thing. So, okay, I'm fine with that. I'm fine with try-hard Joker not being a thing, because Joaquin Phoenix Joker, just from this trailer alone, made me go, oh my god. Oh my god. This is amazing. Like, granted, Leto could've... I will play devil's advocate and say, Leto could've been an amazing Joker had he not been a part of Suicide Squad... had not Suicide Squad gone the way it did. Because that was a train wreck into clusterfuck town. Because that, I could just go on and on how bad Suicide Squad, you know, was, but I digress. But what I like about here is that this is a story of a man having one bad day. And as we know, all it takes is one bad day to drive somebody absolutely crazy. But I, I think Joaquin Phoenix, like, he, do, he does a laugh in this trailer, and I was like, oh my god, that's like perfect Joker. Um, I also like the costume. I've never, I haven't really talked about the Joker costume and every, every time I talk about the Joker trailer or anything leading up to this Joaquin Phoenix Joker movie is I like the costume. It's very Cesar Romero. It's like a dark, dark version of the Cesar Romero costume. It's like a, a like just a, yeah, it's something like that. It's like a, it's like the classic Cesar Romero costume. And I feel like that's what they're trying, what the, uh, guys behind this movie are trying to do is they're trying to make a 
like a more darker tone of what Romero's Joker was, which I'm fine with. I like Cesar Romero, and I don't. And also, what I like is that they're not trying to be um, Heath Ledger. It's very clear they're not trying to be like the Heath Ledger Joker. Um, and that's what I like. So far, no one's been trying to do, like, and no one, even Leto's Joker didn't do this, is making Joker like a, you know, making Joker like this, um, like a ripoff of Heath Ledger. So I'm glad, uh, so I'm really happy for that. Also, Phoenix, what did you do to your body this whole movie? Jesus Christ! I don't know if that's special effects, or... You really starved yourself in this movie for this movie because if you saw the trailer, guys, he looking thin, like he looking fucked up, like I'm not even kidding, like he looking fucked up um, in this situation. Jesus Christ, like seriously, how how is he not dead? Like there's one scene where he's just in the corner and you see the bones and all that. I was like, I hope that's CGI and he really didn't just physically wreck his body. I'm really hoping that's not the case, because if it is, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, anyway, uh, oh boy. <laughs> so, the other thing is that we see a lot of, like, um, this very 70s vibe. Like, this is the dirtiest Gotham's looked in a long time. Like, just from this trailer alone, I was like, God. This looks dirtier than, like, the Dark Knight trilogy Gotham. Like, it looks more filthy. And, like, it looks like a place, like, you would go home just to, after taking a walk. You would t need to take a shower of just how grim and just grit and gritty this city is. Ugh. So, thank you for getting Gotham, you know, the look of Gotham and the feel of Gotham down. Um, also, another thing... DC, I know you want to promote your movies, but I don't need, like, 16 trailers of this. You have sold me on a two-and-a-half-minute trailer. You've sold me on it. I don't need... You really... All you need is two more trailers. That's it, and one of them doesn't even need to be a full trailer. One of them just needs to be, like, a... Like a teaser saying, on uh, you know, tickets on sale now. What? Yeah, just give us... You know, pro you'll probably do another full trailer at Comic-Con because it'll be, like, only a few months away. Do TV spots, because you don't need... You know, you've sold everybody. You've sold everybody, and like and like I said earlier, even though it feels like I watched the trailer, I didn't feel like I saw the whole movie. It was a two-and-a-half-minute trailer. I didn't... I feel like I still didn't see the whole movie, but, like, I... I feel like you don't need to spoil anything with this. You've sold everybody. Like, every, I've been seeing in the comments... Everybody has been, like, ecstatic over this. Like, everyone has just been, like... Because a lot of people were, like, against this movie from the get-go. But you've kind of shown that, wow, you you know, this trailer really turned people around. I was cool with it from the get-go of having this Elseworld story and having Joaquin Phoenix as Joker. It's just been, like, a match made in heaven. Or hell, if you want to make... Uh, if you want to put it in more perfect terms. <laughs> Um, I know they're, they're naming the character Arthur, which is fine because, you know, a lot of people are like, why isn't he named Jack Napier? Why isn't he Jack? To which I'm like, do you guys not know Joker? If I'm going to have a past, I prefer it to be multiple choice. So, Joker doesn't even remember his, his origin. So there you go. You know, it's fine that they're naming him Arthur. And plus, like I said, um, this is an Elseworld story. So that it's fine they can do a alternate universe version of the Joker and give him a name, in my opinion. But wouldn't it be so cool? Wouldn't it be like such a twist if this whole thing turns out to be just a story Joker is telling uh, Dr. Quinzel in Arkham? Wouldn't that just blow your fucking mind at the end of it? I mean, yeah, wouldn't it be like... I wouldn't mind if it was all just turned out to be a wild story. It, like, because, again, the Joker does that. He likes to just make up shit on the fly. And this seems like a story that would just be kind of like that, of him meeting a girl, having a mother, um, just this depressing shit to get Harley to join him. So wouldn't it be so fucking crazy if by the end of this movie you discover that this was all just a made-up bullshit story by the Joker 
um, still played by Phoenix at the end of it, and he's just at the in Arkham Asylum talking to Har uh, Harley Quinn when she's still, you know, a, a doctor at Arkham, and it kind of makes her feel sympathetic for him, and at the end of it, he's just smiling at the end of it, because he's like, I got you and Harley. Well, I got Harley and the audience. Fuck you. Because that would be the Joker. That would totally be a Joker thing. Right? So anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, um, here at U Comic Universe, um, what do you guys think of this Joker teaser trailer, or just full-on trailer? Do you guys like it, hate it? Uh, also, would you care if this was all just one big bullshit story by the Joker? Are you expecting that twist, or do you think it's just going to be a full movie? Just comment below, let us know here at Comic Universe. I'm DPZ, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.